I thought I'd give you food for thought. Here's the first one. To think is good. To not think is criminal. What good is light to a man who sticks it in an earthen pot and hides it in his house? I sought your heart, knocked and waited as you built these stone altars for yourselves. We built these walls of sorrow high and steep, and resting in our laurels, this we sleep in plundered halls as barren widows weep, testing justice and resting in deceit. Now for a bit of context. Um, well, I don't know how long it was, a very long time ago. I was sitting in the meeting house on campus. Um, a lot was going on. And uh, this young lady walks in, never seen her before, uh, sits down, we have a conversation. And during this conversation, she says, um, I'd like to start a group of poets and artists to, to come and share and express what they have inside them. But I'm encountering loads of difficulties, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's saying, don't do it, don't do it. We've got enough things going on on campus. We don't need that stuff. No, we don't need it. don't do it. I said to her, go. <coughs> and uh, I think a couple of years later, we're here. Um, and that's a good indication of, in many ways, what not putting light in an earthen pot and hiding it in your house enables you to do. Um, it's quite a contagious thing. I wonder how many of you have considered this? How much more would the light shine out if the pot was broken? How much less would be shared if the bread wasn't broken? What are you doing with the light that you have? What sort of person are you with that light? As I was sitting there thinking, I, I landed on this, I don't know how many here, um, maybe I should, I should probably check. Do you mind closing your eyes? Just close your eyes. Now, no one's looking. You're still looking. <laughs> how many of you here are Christians? Raise your hand. Okay. Put your hands down. How many of you are not Christians? Okay. You can open your eyes. Um, there are loads of us. If you can't in this room, the majority of us are Christians. And it's interesting. Most of the non-Christians aren't here. And this is too much light in one place for me. And part of what I'm saying about sharing the light is about going into those places where it requires you to be broken. And you can't share that light unless you break. So let's consider that as part of the food for thought. Um, shine your light, shine your light, shine your light, shine your light, and let it shine. This little light of mine. Shine your light. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'll tell you a story. Um, I grew up in a part of the world where poverty is uh, quite deep. Every time uh, we have Red Nose Day, I see places I used to walk, which is quite harsh, you know. And I remember we used to play um, football against the kids from the slums. And I say the kids from the slums, like there was much difference between us. Our states were just as poor, you know. But. When we came to play, first we'd walk across the pitch taking stones and broken glass and throwing it off. And some of the kids wouldn't have shoes. And my brother used to say to me, Dennis, 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 take your shoes off, man. I'm like, why? Why should I take my shoes off? Because cause they don't have shoes. Make it fair. They don't have shoes. Make it fair. And this is the gift that you all have. That actually, none of you are better off than the people out there, apart from the gift that's given to you. The source of light that's within you is not from you. So if you hold it, you harbour it. If you give it out, you make it shine brighter. And that's the key to breaking, to take your shoes off, to 
go to the spaces that are difficult to go to. To say that I'm sorry. To say the go. To say, you know, this is what I want to do, but this is hard. I need help. So as you continue to listen to the pieces of poetry that are being spoken, look at the gospels that have been given to you and consider actually, if I already have a Bible, is there someone I can give it to? Amen. Just simple things Amen. to do. And those are the thoughts I want to leave you with. I, I, I had an idea for a <coughs> message to give you, but actually, I'd rather you think, because to not think is criminal. Thanks. <laughs>